When you say different strokes for different folks, you're usually not thinking about painting and most definitely not thinking about two people sharing the same canvas. We are twin. We're identical twin brothers. Uh, we've been painting and drawing since we were kids. As of late, um, I, I just realized that this is what we do for a living. Individuality is, is part of really, uh, even though it's kind of a contradiction, but it kind of brings our work together as twins. The, the more we kind of find ourselves, the more our work seems like it's kind of taken off in the whole another direction. And it's, it's, it's exciting to kind of watch the whole uh, transformation take place. And of it. Like I said, I kind of had the idea in mind yesterday of a landscape. I don't know exactly what's, how the painting is going to end up. Like yellow and blue make green, Jerry and Terry Lynn are individuals who blend together to create something completely different. As the painting progresses, we're going to start eliminating things, the things that aren't working and start focusing on the parts that are working. Some artists like to plan everything out from the get-go. I don't like that approach because sometimes the paintings may seem too stiff. This is kind of how we start a painting anyway. And a lot of the paint acts texture too. You know, we like a lot of texture in our works. It's really no rules, you know, it's just kind of having fun and expressing ourselves right now. You know, and the image, that, that's not really a hard part for either one of us, I would say, coming up with an image to pull a painting together. Yeah. I'm really feeling something abstract though, you know, that's, that's what I'm feeling, but there's it's no guarantee that's what's gonna happen though. If it seems impossible that two ends can somehow meet in the middle to complete a single piece of art, well, the proof is in the paintings. But try and picture this. These guys are also multitaskers. They work on maybe 10 to 20 pieces at one time. No one understands and appreciates the art of twin better than their parents. A tour of their home reveals an art gallery, a museum, dedicated to the work of their prolific painter sons. To prove they are not completely prejudiced, the work of artists other than Terry and Jerry are squeezed in here and there, but mostly the walls are a shrine to their sons. I call myself going to frame everything that they have produced over the years. And uh, I was told, they asked me, why are you trying to, you know, uh, frame all of this? You know, and I said, well, actually it'd be like a history. This particular piece here is a meal. Those three pieces there is uh, the twin. Dorothy and James Lynn know every line, every color, every expression that brought twin to this point in their work and their lives. And surely if anyone can tell the difference between Jerry and Terry, it's their mom. Jerry and Terry, the name is different. You, got, you have a Jerry, you have Terry. So, so that's a difference. <laughs> Other than that, there's no difference. That's Jerry in white, Terry in black. Terry is still single. Jerry is married with a little girl. Jerry studied business while Terry majored in art. They went separate directions at first, but they were born to be together. I believe they discovered too by both of them painting on the same canvas at the same time <clears throat> and then once the piece is completed it looks like uh, one person painted the picture and that was unique in itself. As uh, clients come in, I let them tour and they pick what they like mm -hmm. and hey, to take them home with them. They told us though that by us going down into the studio and just uh, we see something that we like to encourage them to paint. And so, hey, if, if that encourages you to paint, I, I'll pick up five or six. <laughs> From family memories of working the fields to the small neighborhood church of their childhood, images of days past go from thought to brush to canvas. It's kind of like a, um, a living contradiction. You know, you know, we're you know, fairly young artists, but we're painting these images inspired by, by our older generation, so to speak. Maybe a generation that didn't have the, the opportunity to tell their story. Consciously, I never 
Um, I never think about, I'm gonna put a church in this painting right here. It's just, I started painting and for some reason, one might end up in the painting some kind of way. And, and the church stands for a lot, you know, it stands for, you know, strength, you know, and I guess foundation or, or structure, you know, kind of in a chaotic world, so to speak. And you have the church in the middle of this, all these bright colors and all these shapes. And, and then you have this church, and this AME church, this symbol of, 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 of hope. Maybe it just a, gives me a good feeling when I'm painting, I don't know. The twins are also influenced by the colorful sights and sounds from Memphis and Beale Street. And when we first got started professionally showing our work and selling our work on Beale Street, downtown Memphis, Tennessee, that's all we saw was musical uh, musicians, bands playing every day. So during that time period, when we first started kind of selling our work, we painted a lot of musical images that kind of um, kind of reflected that environment that we were in at that particular time. Their success might be enough to give the big head to some artists. So is this a case of an artist with two big heads? I think in general, most artists have very big egos. You know, most musical artists, as artists in general, I don't know why, but yeah, they do. I just, I just, to me, art is just something that is it's just a, a natural God-given gift. That's how I look at it. I think I think the the, the fact that we didn't have big egos, um, speaking of what Terry said, kind it's of, almost even that naive. To yeah, a lot of yeah, things. it was kind of a naivety um, with that, but that kind of attributed to a lot of our success early on, um, because we kind of didn't look at ourselves as being. Um, better than somebody or trying to prove some type of point with our art. So now I'm not really feeling those blue dots up there anymore. They, they were beginning to be figures, but this piece is taking on a more of a panoramic kind of landscape kind of feel, and those figures would be too big for this particular piece. I'm really feeling more of a, uh, more of a scenic, you know, um, distant feel to the landscape versus um, some large figures. Even when their work is on display in museums, Jerry and Terry Lynn, twin, are quick to acknowledge it's not all about them. And I do value the fact that uh, a museum has thought of enough of our work and our career to say that we would like to show your work in a museum. I'm really more proud and happy that my grandparents and parents and aunts and uncles and the ones who kind of come before us, you know, they're going to be there to, to, to support us and to, um, you know, like I said, kind of see things from a different perspective on my part, you know, looking at the smiles on their faces, I think is um, bigger than anything, so. It's really an honor, um, but beyond that, um, personally, um, it's, it's just uh, another day for me. I mean, it's, it, we, we work, I work personally, and um, if the museum called, if they didn't call, I'm still gonna be working, I'm still gonna be creating, you know, and I'm gonna do this uh, if, if, if it's God's will for the rest of my life.